Thomas was having a wonderful time in the land of Idaho. He was so excited because the new freight cars were there and he was able to tow them. There was a milk tank car, a cargo car, a fuel tank car, as well as a coal wagon with load. He was so excited he took them to the end of the track. Well, guess what? Percy saw them sitting at the end of the track and he couldn't understand why they weren't back at the main station. So he hooked them up and he took them back to the main station lickety-split. Well, it was bad news for the freight cars because James saw them sitting at the main station and he couldn't figure out why they weren't at the end of the track. So he did what any good engine would do and he hooked them up and he took them to the end of the track. Well, you're not going to believe this, but at the end of the track, Thomas said, you know what, I think I need to take them back to the main station. So he hooked them up, and that's exactly what he did. He took them all the way back to the main station. Well, back at the main station, Percy was scratching his head and wondered, why are they at the main station when I had already taken them to the end of the track? So, he did what any good engine would do, and he hooked them up, and he decided he would take them back to the end of the track. Well, James had finished his lunch and decided, I think I'll take the ones that I took to the end of the track back to the main station, not knowing that Percy had already taken them back from the main station to the end of the track. Well, it was a terribly, terribly long day for the freight cars. Because every time James would take them to one end of the track, one of the other engines, not knowing they had already been put to the end of the track, decided to take them back to the main station. So all day long, James, Percy, and Thomas took the trains from one end of the track to the other end of the track without any of them knowing that they had already taken it from one end of the track back to the other end of the track. Well, the freight cars were getting dizzy going back and forth and back and forth through the tunnel, back through the tunnel the other way. And they kept telling the engines, we've already been this way. But Thomas and James and Percy, they just never listened because they had to get the job done and put the cars where they belonged. So this went on all day long. First, Thomas would pull the freight cars through the rugged mountains. Then Percy decided he could pull the freight cars through the rugged mountains just better than Thomas could. Well, of course, you know, after Percy had to pull them through, you know who had to pull them through? Of course, James, the big red engine, who said, I'm the biggest and the best engine and I can pull the most. Well, they started arguing, arguing and arguing, but Sir Topham Hatt said, why don't you all work together? Because I'm sure the three of you together can probably pull more freight cars than any one of you pulling by yourself. And so that's exactly what they did. Thomas, Percy and James worked together to not only pull the new freight cars, but to pull a lot of other freight cars as well. Bachman Trains has introduced some freight cars for the Thomas and Friends sets. They include a milk tank car, a cargo car, a fuel tank car, as well as a coal wagon with load. Each one of these items is individually boxed and ready to run on your railroad. They are boxed so that they will not get damaged when they're in shipment and will make an excellent storage place for them when you're not running them. These units are all built off of the same base and they change the molded pieces on top for each of the different types of cars. Younger children should find these easier to place on the track as there are only two sets of wheels and they're very heavy made plastic construction that will make them very durable. 
Inside each box you will find instructions on how to swap out the couplers. We'll show you how to do that in just a bit. That's because the Thomas trains ride a little bit higher than standard Bachmann or large scale trains. What you will need to do is use these extra pieces to lower the couplers so that they are at the right height for coupling to other large scale products. You can see here that the Thomas couplers are just a little bit higher than regular couplers. It's easy to do. You take one screw to take off the coupler. There's a second screw in which you take off the bracket. You merely replace the larger bracket and then replace the coupler and now you can couple non-Thomas the Train freight cars and use them with your Thomas units. The hook and loop couplers will be easy for young children to use and the metal wheels are in metal brackets so they will stand up to punishment. The graphics are done very well and very, very detailed. And the molding on the products is very well done. The rivets are detailed and the edges are smooth. We really liked the coal wagon and the cargo car. The coal wagon has a removable coal load. So if you wanted to maybe modify your Thomas trains to run on battery power, that might be a great place to put your remote control and battery. Plus we had fun because you can take the coal load and move it over to the other unit if you'd like to and then move it back again. The two units are pretty much the same. What they've done is they've just painted them to look different. One thing that's nice about these freight cars is they have just enough detail to look good on your railroad. And as we mentioned before, the metal wheels are not in plastic but on metal brackets and they should stand up to a lot of punishment. We thought that the freight cars looked great behind Thomas. But then again, they also looked great behind Percy. And of course, anything would look great behind James the Big Red Engine. So take a look at these units. If you have any of the Thomas and Friends sets from Bachman, these are something that you should add.